Welcome back, boys and girls, to Mysterio's fourth grade class. So, today we're going to be talking about comparing fractions, all right? So, we need to be very careful when we compare fractions, all right? So, I'm going to give you two fractions right here, and um, we're going to see which one is the bigger fraction, all right? All right, but now, it is pretty, okay, it is pretty tricky. It can be pretty tricky if you don't pay attention, all right? So, you... It's always, a lot of kids always see the numbers and they say, well, 3 is bigger than 2 and 8 is bigger than 4, all right? So everybody uh, assumes that, okay, well, this, uh, these are bigger numbers, so this has got to be the biggest fraction, right? So, but if you have, you have to be very careful to look at your denominators and your numerators, all right? So that's what's the most important, but we got to think of this as a, as a, I like to think of it as a pie, as a pizza pie. So, I like to sometimes draw models, okay? So, for example, I draw a model, let's pretend the pizza is cut into four pieces, right? And I ate two, okay? All right, so now this kind of makes it, puts it in perspective, right? Because I can see the picture. Now, I... Now I bought another pizza, but this pizza got cut into eight pieces. And let's pretend that they're the same size. Okay? So now, not th but this one has more pieces. So now I ate three pieces out of eight. Now, see, now by looking at the pizza, at the two pizzas, I can see that this one is the greatest uh fraction, right? 2 out of 4 is greater than 3 8. So that's it's, that's why it's very important to pay attention to your denominator and your numerator. So now we can see that this number or this fraction is actually greater, okay? 2 fourths is greater than 3 eighths, right? So, so when you look at fractions, always don't assume that just because it's a bigger number, okay? Uh, and, and the numerator or denominator that that's the biggest fraction. No, you're going to think of it as fractions as a piece of pie and it's cut into pieces. Now, this kind of makes it, puts it in a little bit more perspective and you can understand it, all right? And we're going to be talking to you on how to compare fractions, right? And I'm going to show you a trick about it in the next video. So just be very careful to always um, pay attention to your numerators and the denominators, all right? So um, I hope you this kind of helps you understand fractions a little bit because they are a little bit tricky. So uh, please uh, stay tuned to the for the next video so we can really teach you that other strategy. All right. Well, have a good day and see you later. Goodbye.